Good morning, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'm Andrew Ballesteri, and I'm your host of this episode of the 1008. And uh, today we've got a truly legendary show for you. My guest today is Mrs. Bodmer. Thank you very much for joining me. How you doing? Good. Good. That's great. Uh, so on this show, we just kind of ask teachers questions, get to know them a little bit better. Uh, totally no pressure. Very fun. Uh, so you're a Renaissance woman, uh, and beyond just being a teacher, you're also an author. Uh, could you talk to us about some of the challenges that come with being an author? You know, finding trees to cut down, uh, to make paper, to put words on, to put into some sort of bind bird it all. Bird feathers and the ink and everything. And the ink. It's tough. It's very hard. Yeah. It's, sorry, what's the question? Uh, just tell us a little <laughs> bit about being an author. All right, so being an author, I like to write. Of course. All right. And the reason I like to write is because it gets me out of my own head into somebody else's story. Mm -hmm. And so I can do it sometimes without even, like, for hours at a time. Sure. And it's just, a, it's a, truly a great escape. Mm -hmm. It is my escape. It's a hobby. Um, I don't know how many trees I cut down. I think I cut down many, many, many more trees from being a teacher than being an author. With all the packets. Interesting. There's... Can we, camera three, camera three, camera, there's a lesson there. All right, resume. So, and, and I, you know, when I make big packets for my classes and sure. all my students always complain, like, you're wasting so many trees. I'm like, well, I'm allowed to. Yeah, exactly. Because, yeah, but you don't know the reason, right? Well, so, go ahead and tell us. So the reason mm -hmm. I'm allowed to is because my brother, who Michael knows, Mr. Bodmer, Dr. Richard Bodmer has saved, and I'm not, I'm not making any of this up. Has saved a huge piece of rainforest. So because of what he's saved and all the trees yeah. he's saved, I can use a little bit more than the average person, so. which is rather yeah. entitled of me. And mm -hmm. I, I definitely understand that this is an entitlement that mm -hmm. Richard has given me. Well, if you cut down just as many trees as he's saved, then it's like nothing. No, no, done. no. He's saved. Way, way, way. So, so the amount he saved, mm -hmm. where we go in that, in that, um, we go to a reserve in Peru. Sure. Uh, it's a huge reserve, and mm -hmm. he's actually the only person who's allowed to stay overnight, which is why we get to stay overnight in that particular re reserve because he's done so much for that and so much for our world. You know, yeah. he's worked on that Paris climate change, and he's done. You know, he's huge, and he's huge too. <laughs> uh, right? Best of yeah. both worlds. I don't know him. Is he? What? I don't know him. Is he? He is a large man. We got Makile over here as a witness. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Our next question is, you are a chemistry teacher. I am. What is the best tasting element? Oh, God. What a great question. <laughs> Such a great question. I'm a uranium guy myself. Do you think? Yeah. I don't know. I only eat gold and nothing else. That's, Gold's that's pretty good. Gold's pretty good. I don't Not know. Not like bronze or silver. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. But what would you say is the best tasting element? Michael, help me out here. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe sodium? I don't know what sodium tastes like. Uh, well, I do with chloride. I guess I'd have to say sodium chloride. All right. But that's not an a element. Bit of a it's a compound. It's kind of cheating. But it's kind of cheating. We'll let it slide. Right. Yeah. Um, now, uh, you are a chemistry teacher. Speaking of you being a chemistry teacher, what um, what would you say possessed you to want to become a chemistry teacher? Oh, I never wanted to become a chemistry teacher. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> development. But what did you want to become instead? I still don't know. I'm still <laughs> searching for that. Of course. But, but are you sad like, that you're a chemistry teacher? No, I absolutely love being a chemistry teacher. Okay. But it's not what but I ever wanted. it's not what you would have gone right. for. Interesting. Do you want to know, like, the story behind it or no? Um, well, well if you could tell me a little bit about what you maybe wish you were doing instead. I don't. You don't I want to be exactly where you are. Where I am. I want to be exactly where I am with my teaching and my writing. Well, then, would you have wanted to just be like a full time author before? No, never. No. That would be terrible. No. no so, I'm not explaining this very well. I feel like I'm confusing you. 
I, well, I'm easily confused, so that's, okay. that's, a, that's a thing. So, so I, um, after my first, I, I'm, this is going to come out wrong. So after my first divorce, I've only had one divorce. So have I, okay. yeah. Okay. So I decided that, and I had no real career. I was still very young. I was young when I got married, young when I got divorced. Mm -hmm. But I decided that there was no way I was ever going to be dependent on a partner be it man, woman, whatever, right? Sure, I yeah. was going to, and so I needed to get a degree in something. I had my undergraduate degree, so I went sure. and I decided, well, I'll just, I wasn't really planning on being a teacher, but I'll get a teaching degree, so I'll have something to fall back on, right? So if I don't find anything else, I can always be a teacher. So I went to Framingham State, and I signed up in their teacher program, and they were unbelievably good, too, which, you know, I, I think people underestimate the quality at Framingham State. Just a little. I'm not plugging sure. in anything no. Framingham State. This episode State. is kind of way it's actually sponsored, right. sponsored, by, it's sponsored Framingham by Framingham State. State. They actually was there last night and a, at an author talk. It was amazing. Yeah. But we can talk about Do you know that their that tuitions one. are completely affordable and uh, it's not too far away for most Massachusetts-based students? So it's you're, true. You can still go home and do your laundry. That if yeah, so please. Boom. Exactly. So anyway, I you decided to be codependent with your parents. Right. Continue. I, so I decided to get a teaching degree, not having any idea what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So I did my um, first, or it was like a, you have to go and sit in classes. You have to, you know. Sure. And then you do your student teaching. And this was the weirdest thing. I absolutely fell in love with teenagers. Yeah. So it didn't matter. So I've taught everything. I've mm -hmm. taught English and biology and physics and sociology. It doesn't matter to me Look what I that. teach. Wow. It just matters that I'm in the classroom having a good time. Mm -hmm. We have a good time, don't you think, most of the time? I, I'd say so, yeah. yeah. You know, we have it's very, very stress-free, very fun. Right. It, it really feels that way to me. So I always call this job my occupational therapy mm -hmm. because it's... You, do you know what that is? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like after you've been in a mental hospital and then you go to occupational therapy. Yeah. He's happens. been there several that, times. That happens to okay. me all, all right. the time. Yeah. So, all right. the time. So, so I come here and I feel like this is where I get my sanity well, to go wonderful. home and write and do everything else. Yeah. Well, that's a great way to spend the day. It is. Yeah. Um, speaking of possessions, <clears throat> we uh, are... Our sources who wish to remain anonymous. Okay. <laughs> they tell us that you are an avid member of the occult. Could you tell us to what extent do you believe in the supernatural? And uh, what makes you believe in it? So, I don't know what occult you mean. Like, just... But well, you definitely believe in, in things that are... Help me out here. Paranormal. Um, paranormal. Uh, paranormal. I, absolutely. Believe in the paranormal. Absolutely. Ghostbusters was a documentary. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, I love Ghostbusters. I have a ghost in my office now. Really? And and, and you guys, have you heard the story yet? A little bit. Oh, I my God. It's, it's a great story. It's time for a story. All right. Everyone, so, a great story first time. of all, there is... An, I'm not here to preach what I believe, all right? Of course I'm not. I'm just here to tell you. I don't... Everybody has a right to their own beliefs. All right. Yep. Um, but I've done a ton of research. There are, sure. there are mountains and mountains of evidence about different paranormal events. No, no one can debate that. Of course. Why, why, and the whole, there's, there's so many questions as to why it happens and what's behind it. And, you know, some people believe it's all a fraud. And, and I totally understand that, and I also respect that, which is how I come to the ghost story, because yeah. I am a medium. I, my daughter calls me the medium hunter. The medium. The not medium small hunter. Or large. No, the, no, no. Or the medium hunter. I hunt medium. So you're not a medium, but you can no, no, find no. other mediums. Right. I, I hunt them. You That's hunt my... For, like, sport? For sport. That is my hobby, all sure. right? So I'm a chemistry teacher, I'm a writer, I'm a grandmother, and I'm a medium hunter, Okay. Got That's all quite that? The resume. Yeah, it is quite right. the resume. Is. I did get it's, all of it. I was right, writing it down. Right. So um, it's been a number of years since I've been doing this. And I, I came upon a pretty good list. Not the best list, but a pretty good list, I would say, about a year ago. So I've been slowly going down that list. And 
either phoning these people or Skyping. You know, you can do it over the phone or Skype. It doesn't have to be in person. Mm -hmm. And my one of my last ones um, was a woman named Sandra O'Hara, and you can look her up. And she's there's this great chapter in a book about her called um, Surviving Death. And so the first reading I had with her was in my office here. It was before school because they have a, a time difference, right? So mm -hmm. it's five or four hours ahead depending on daylight savings time. Anyway, we won't get into that, but it's, it's preschool hours. And I was totally, completely stunned by the amount of information she knew about me, my life, my family's life. She had, like, one name correct after the other. I mean, she didn't even, a lot of mediums are like, oh, is there, like, an R name? Is there a J name? Oh, and you're yeah. like, oh, come on, please. Yeah. Like, I'm 26 like, letters in the alphabet. Right, you're right. getting lucky, fool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but this oh. one, right, who's Richard, which is my brother, who's Anne's sister, who's Edward, other brother, who's Don, husband, and who's Edward. the geneticist, my uncle. So everybody, you know, she picked up that, um, she was like, you know, there's a Nazi insignia. My parents fled from the Nazis. And uh, there's a Swiss flag. My mother was raised in Switzerland. So she got... So was I, yeah. You were? Yeah. Where in Switzerland? Uh, Massachusetts. Switzerland. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, good. All right, we'll talk more about Switzerland later. Anyway, so this woman, like, it just blew my mind, the amount she knew. And some of the things, and I'm very, like... You know, I'm skeptical, too. I mean, some of the things I was like, there's no way there are a few of these things she could have learned from the Internet, right? Of course. There were some personal family things that she couldn't have known. Right. So I tell Dylan and Lucas, can, can I bring them up on the, their names up? Yeah, sure. No, Just some students. Yeah, I know. All right, some students. Do we have to cut their names? No. no, they, no. Don't, they don't have names. Names are a myth, actually. So Yeah, that's true. Because yeah. um, you're really just a spirit form. Exactly. Right? You're just a person. And uh, your parents give you a name so that they can tell you to stop eating cereal and this is going nowhere. Do you want me to is finish the story? Or yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> is this like boring you? No, no, no. Keep no, going. Keep going. You sure? All right. 100%. So um, anyway, Dylan, two students yeah. and I, two students who went to Peru with me, we ended up talking a lot about it. And they're, very, they're total skeptics, which I think is really healthy. I love that. And they they were on their phones. They were like f trying to figure out all the. There's a lot of information you can get about me, especially because I'm an author on the internet, right? Of course. Yeah. So they found a, a lot, but there were places that there's no way. I was like, yeah, but can you find this? You know, and I was very honest with them about things she said, yeah. and. Um, we talked and talked, and they were curious. And I was like, "Hey, let's you set up an appointment, all right? They, sure. You do it in my office. Um, they used a fake email, so that there was no way to trace them at all, right? So they they contacted her. Um, they had an appointment last week before school. And my favorite part of this, and I'm not going to divulge anything that is theirs, but at one point she said to them. You know, there's a young man, I don't know, student, maybe teacher, not sure, he, who killed himself. And then... Right over there. Right. It was me. It was yeah. It was me. But anyways, then uh, they were like, eh, no. She said, forget it, forget it. It's, it. It has nothing to do with you. It's that space you're in. Sure, you know? yeah. Now, she has no idea we're connected or mm -hmm. she, none of this, right, she could possibly know. But you heard the same thing? Well, she had told me in my first reading, only in that office. Now, I've had two readings by her, but one was in that office, my first reading, and I sure. went back to my notes. She said, so there's a young, is it a student, maybe a teacher? Do you know anybody who killed themselves? So I'm like, no, I don't. And one of my friends was really turned off by that and said, well, that, you know, because we analyze it together, that's a, a huge miss. You don't, like, you don't bring up a suicide unless you're pretty sure. Yeah. So, um... When Dylan, oops, I keep saying their names, and they I'm sorry. They don't have names. It's they don't fine. Have, when true. the no-named people told me that about the ghost, and that she immediately said it wasn't to do with them, that it was the office, that it was the space they were in. She didn't know it was an office. She didn't know it was my office. She doesn't have any connection to me or them. Yes. Isn't that a going. great story? That's so there story. is a ghost in my office that I am happily 
habitating with. And I, I just great. would like everybody to know that. And I know that people know I'm a science teacher, but I'm much more than that. Like I'm a, a researcher into the paranormal, and, and I find that fascinating. And anybody who knows me knows that I have read everything and, and really do like wonder about these things that are amazing. That is pretty wacky to backy. So, I'm not gonna lie. That's spooky. Is that a great story? That's it is, pretty yeah. great. I'm very, very glad you mentioned that. Um, wow. Wow. So, so it was, it was, oh, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm just. <laughs> I don't know if he's like. I have no oh, idea. No, 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 like, no, if okay. you actually think this is a good story. No, it's spooky. It's spooky as hell. Let's move on. Uh, the point is, uh, ghosts are real. Yes. And and they live here with and they, us. And they're here. Like here, I'm in English happy class. And and high. I'm in English class, and they're peering over my shoulder, copying my test answers. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> what? Uh, we had Miss Rivera on this show a while back, and she said that if she was a superhero, you would be her sidekick. Do you her agree with this? Her sidekick. Oh boy. We've got a fight going on. <laughs> Whoa. No, you, I think uh, you she agree with would this, be mine. Or is she the sidekick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you are the department leader. Clearly, you have the ability to see things beyond the physical and into the spiritual. So I think you're the one with the with the. Sidekick. I don't yeah. have the powers, unfortunately, which is why I'm so you know sort of. I know people. I've met people who are gifted with the powers of this of paranormal. I don't have them. Yeah. On. That's always, you know, maybe I will in another life. Um, sure. So Mrs. Rivera would be the sidekick. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll have to talk to her about that one. But yeah. I'm yeah. going to say she's my sidekick. Okay. Sorry. What do you think no, your no, power no, would no. be? We, uh, we get how things are. What do you think your power would be if you were a superhero? If I was a superhero, I would be able to see past... All of your defenses, your emotional defenses. Oh, man. So, <laughs> so that, it, and it's not being psychic. Well, I guess it well, would be. And it, it would be in a way. Yeah. It would be in to a way. Extent. It's being but able like, to peer into someone's soul. You know, great. Taking off the veil and the out, you know, so that I could really know and understand that, yeah. the depth of that person. Yeah. Just not a big fan of like subtext. Like, get rid of that and just right, like, give right. me the real. Well, like, we were, this is a, another little bit of a side story, so I don't know how long I have. I, I, um, we uh, were in California in February, and my daughter, my eldest daughter, absolutely hates all that. Like, what you just, I love the way you described it. Like mm -hmm. that, get rid of that subtext. And we were interviewing, interviewing my, uh, we, that was, we were interviewing, interviewing my younger daughter's boyfriend's family, right? Yeah. So we were, we finally got to our last individual. They didn't know they were being interviewed, right? I mean, yeah. we had it. And my daughter was just like, all right, I can't, I can't, I'm just going to tell you right off. No weather. We're not talking about the weather. We're not talking about food. We're just going to get right down to it. So yeah, I'm, I, that's sort Skip of what, the small talk. Yeah, I, I, I don't want it. Mm -hmm. So that was maybe yeah. a long-winded answer. Sorry. No, but no, it's it's good. We want the whole package here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we understand that you have been deported to Peru many times. Yeah. Uh, do you have any? Thing you want to share about that? Or you just want to talk about the, the program in general and how students get involved with it? Uh, and, and how maybe you came to be deported? Deported. Um, I am an immigrant. Do you want to talk about that? I love Peru. From Peru? I'm not from Peru. I'm oh. an immigrant. I often forget about that. Like, because I, I think of myself yeah. as, you know, I, I became a citizen in my 20s. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, so did I. And yeah, so I feel very much a part of this country. Yeah. So I, it's sometimes I forget. In fact, I was in a class once, and the teacher it was a writing course, and the teacher was talking about, you know, first generation means that your parents, w no, means that you're born yeah, here. Yeah, your right? parents weren't born here, but they you, had you, you here. You, you. So I was like, I was so confused. I was such a freaking idiot. I mean, so I, I was like, wait. So you go first generation, second generation, and I knew I wasn't born here. So I was like, does that make me like a zero? She was like, no, that makes you an immigrant. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I'm an idiot. Mm. So I am an immigrant. That's cool. And um, 
So my brother never became a citizen. My brother's the one in Peru. He's a, a, a scientist. He got his uh, doctoral degree at Cambridge in England, and he's a zoologist by, like, that was what he studied. But sure. he was really the first person to do all the big sustainability research, mm -hmm. and he did that in Peru. And um, from there, you know, just a huge body of research has grown. And so the reason we go to Peru is Operation Wallacea, the company we go with, has trips, student trips there. But we also go because that's where my brother is and we get to stay in his hotel. And um, I, I'm making it, he's not a wealthy man, he's a scientist, but he's also now, um, he designed two museums. Wow. Did you like those? Yeah, I did. Remember? It's a lot of interesting. Unbelievable. He's just such a fascinating guy. All the, all the the huge body of work he's done in research and all, now all the historical stuff he's done for that country. So he's an amazing guy. Anyway, what was the question? God, I'd be a, like, I'd be a terrible... There was a question about Peru. I think we answered it. We, we got it. We got everything we need from that. Uh, we do something, and this is a fast... Okay, good. Fast paced question. Yeah. Oh, God. We do something here called the hypothetical of the day. And our hypothetical for today is would you rather forget who you are or forget who everyone else is? Quick, on the spot. It's a tough question. It's a tough one. I'd rather forget who I was, definitely. Yeah, right? You think people you would be able to help you out? Yeah. Well, no, because then I still get everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's That's really right. not yeah. about me, it's really about everybody else. The right? other people in your it's life. About how you get. interact with everyone else, yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And. Lastly, well, that's a great question. It is. Like, I want to Written by our very own Michael O'Sullivan. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he wrote that one. It's a very interesting question. I mean, you could really dig around in that question and yeah, and really think sure. about all kinds of all kinds of uh, interesting concepts. Like, it's a good writing question. Like, if you want to be a writer, you you start with many what ifs. Mm -hmm. So, like, a what if question like that would lead you onto a great free write. I bet yeah. they would use that in their English classes. Yeah, I or would like in a creative that. writing yeah. class. Yeah, it's a great what if question. Mm -hmm. And uh, lastly, we were wondering. You go on a lot of field trips. You, you, I do. Uh, yeah, around the school, you're pretty infamous it's for true. your field trips. Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> we were just wondering if you've ever heard someone say, like, on a field trip, like. Please just let this be a normal field trip or with the frizz? No way. Oh, you mean you're talking about like the magic school bus field trips? Yeah. Is that you? Have you ever yeah. experienced anything like I that? I thought so. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to play for you an audio clip. Okay. And we want you to just kind of react to it how you would. I don't know uh, this. Do not censor it at all. Just Is show it me? Us no, no, it's not. Uh, just show us, like... Thank God, I hate, like, hearing my own voice. Oh, my God, it's the worst. Just, Don't um, you? Yeah, yeah. Just, How um, do you do with this show, like, when you have to hear yourself? When I have to edit, I, uh, I put on some soundproof earphones, and they do it for me. And I leave the room, yeah. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I speak, I leave the room. Yeah, it's cool. Anyway, uh, the point is, just listen to this and, uh, and react with uh, as much honesty and much heart and soul as you can. I have to introduce that to my granddaughter. <laughs> That's funny. Camera three, thank you so much. That's all the time we have today on the Ten Away. Thank you so much to my guest, Mrs. Bodmer. Oh, you were fantastic. Thank you. thank you. Thank you to my co-host, Michael O'Sullivan. Thanks to our director, Ben Underwood. This has been the Ten Away. Please join us next week or, you know, whenever there's another one of these. Next year. Yeah. yeah. Next Good year. Oh, you're over here. Great. <laughs> Bye. Get, turn the... What? Turn we can the, fade. We can fade both. No, 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 I think we should do like turn it, turn it, and then just cut to edit these. Oh, yeah.